Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number one. And we're going up against an alliance called Hide and Brawl. All right, so this is the first war of the season, and we are trying to make a push this season. Uh, I am placing without suicides, and because I run with suicides all the time, it's about an 80 unit investment each time I switch with my current build. Uh, so I'm really hoping that we do hit platinum, which is our goal. Four, three, doesn't matter. All right, so I take path two. And as you can see, they didn't put a defender on that first node. But now I got to deal with this Cyclops. And he's pretty easy to deal with. Uh, strike, counter, fury. That is the node. And I'm still learning. Uh, this node and the global or the defense tactic is flow warlock is very good for flow because as you saw there's not only defense tactics but attack tactics as well and he's a control defender uh, a control champion all right so boom I start off with a heavy and that gets his power under control okay I can probably fire off another heavy uh, just to do extra and then of course warlock has the infection so that's also you know a little power control and that cyclops just didn't stand a chance warlock took him down quick all right um love me some warlock especially on flow he does extremely well uh when we first encountered flow i didn't know about the uh attack tactics um I'm not sure if they were even in uh, at the time, because I know they added them later. Uh, but even after they added them, I was not familiar with how that affected Warlock. And uh, so I tried to do a heavy in the beginning that will take care of their um, power gain, usually maybe two heavies. Uh, and you can see we have some extra uh, fight footage uh, from Jigner. Uh, later on uh, so you'll see uh, the fights all the way to the right hand side but I'm going up here to my path path two all right now this path has both defenders and this is strike um, what do you call it strike counter combat power rate uh, now these can be annoying if you ignore this you will end up with no power for the fight. You can you can ignore it uh, and just fight normally. Uh, basically, if you don't use your specials to reset the counters, then you're gonna lose the ability to use your specials at all. All right, so uh, the way it works, you have a certain number of counters. Every time you do a particular action corresponding to a counter, it goes down. So like, um, I believe you have two heavy counters. And so you do two heavy attacks, it goes to zero, and your power rate, you can see the suppress, suppress, um, you're gonna be getting less power. So to reset this, I need to fire off a special. Uh, you can see what my power looks like because I did not fire a special off, and I now really don't have a chance to throw a special. Fortunately for Omega Red, he doesn't really need to throw his specials. So I usually play him that way um, and not even worry about uh, that node there. Now in section one, it's a strike counter fury. So it's the same thing, except instead of a power uh, gain suppression on you, uh, that one, you're gonna end up, uh, they'll generate furies. All right, so now we're gonna fight thing. Okay, same uh, node as before. And I'm actually happy that they chose flow. Thing on the stubborn is just annoying. It's, it's, I don't even like it. I don't like war anyway. And combos like that just really tick me off. Okay. So fighting thing, you have to manage those rock charges, right? You know, keep an eye on the stacks. Uh, Nick Fury is great for it. But like right there, how I dexed that would have automatically made him indestructible on um, stubborn. 
and it's just not fun you know uh now on a node like this it's not quite as bad because you can parry him and that's okay you can parry get rid of uh, if it was stubborn you can get rid of the indestructible that way but when it is uh stun immune oh my goodness that is really really annoying all right so you see here uh i'm just beating into his block to get him to a uh, special one so that he can then fire it off and get rid of all those rock charges okay and that's pretty much how you fight thing now when he first came out he was one of my least favorite champions to fight against just didn't like it but time has gone on and i've gotten better i got a nick fury and uh uh nick fury as well as blade make these fights you know not too bad uh, against thing and down he goes uh if you saw some of my previous fights against thing when i used to bring in blade blade does an excellent job uh he wasn't able to one shot the boss however now that was before these defense tactics and you know all of that were were added to the game not a fan in case you couldn't tell all right so you can see the mini is not cleared uh when it did get cleared uh usually they will boost up and the last person in will just go ahead and take the last node and the mini all right so now we we're cleared and we've got a problem We've got this warlock, and he's causing grief. You can see that uh, someone has already gone in, and uh, I don't remember if uh, there were two tries at him to get him there or not. But I came in, and I particularly hate this node because it's stunning reflection. So if you've seen my style, my style is a parry style. I have trained myself, I do it unconsciously, and here I get punished for it. And that's just not cool. All right, so you see here, you got the power flood, and I can't parry and then fire off my heavy to control his power. And if I try to parry him here, I'm gonna get that stun reflection, and that's how you stop the power flood. It's a great placement for him, but very annoying fight, okay? So I'm sitting here, I'm just like, well, how am I supposed to do this? Okay, because I need to get him, you know, there. I got the infection and I managed to get a heavy attack off on him, you know, up against the wall. And I was able to uh, get him a little bit that way. So I'm like, okay, you know, we managed to get the heavy in. Um, we got him infected. He still has that power flood, though. And then he tags me a few times and he goes to a special three. I'm just like, wow, are you kidding me? You know, ridiculous, okay? But we survived. Oh yes, I, I will survive, but not for long. I was surprised that I survived that, to be honest with you. And when I saw I, I survived, I was like, oh right, I, I have a chance to, to get back. Yeah, not, not so much. All right, so now I'm like, okay, you know what? I got something for him. Because Nick Fury, when the real Nick Fury is out, he can't be stunned. So it's not as bad as it may look, even though I can't put bleeds on him or anything like that. And then he parries me. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, what in the world is going on? All right, so now the Nick Fury, the real Nick Fury is out. Okay. And then there he goes. I'm uh, degenning, of course. And what I should have done here, I should have parried him. But I was so much into not parrying because of the node that I forgot Nick Fury, not stunnable. I can now parry and get that power under control. So you can be sure I was not happy about this. Okay. Two deaths. I don't like dying in the first place. But to the same champion, I'm like, oh, oh no. Mm-mm. We ain't going out like that. There's no way. Uh, there's no way I was going to let this warlock live to tell the tale. No way. So I went right back in. We're dealing with this power flood again. But it's all right. 1% health. 
boom, knocked him down, finally. And, and the sad part about that is I didn't really even feel a sense of victory, honestly. You know, and I'm just like, okay, well, we, we got through it. We got it down. All right, so this fight here, I didn't do. It's Ultron. I've got Omega Red. Not a good matchup. All right, so now are the two fights that I promised you guys, and I didn't look at them ahead of time, so I'm watching them here with you. Uh, Jigner, he's showing you the nodes he's got to deal with, the buffs he's got to deal with. Uh, and you can see that he has Blade with Ghost Rider. So he's got the villain synergy. Perfect for fighting MODOK. Okay, so let's see what he does here. All right. Evade that uh, heavy. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you can see that Blade has shut down a lot of MODOK's abilities. That auto block that's so annoying you'll notice that it's not kicking in right now. All right, Oop, messed up a little bit there. Um, but with Blade, it doesn't really matter. Uh, a lot of people uh, like to tease Jigner about using Blade still, but Blade is still a good champion. Very, very good champion. And uh, Jigner is still getting it done with a Blade. So more power, man. Showing off that uh, Blade gameplay in 2020 and he got that modok down what more can you ask of your champion if you're able to get stuff done with your champion doesn't matter all right so this last fight is going to be against hyperion and it looks like he's going to go in with gwenpool and uh you see the buffs he's got to deal with here uh gwenpool does have one advantage when she's awakened she cannot die to a special. Now, she can die to the side effects of a special, like if it puts a bleed, poison, incinerate, uh, she can die. And if it stuns, she can still get wrecked. But the special itself will not kill her. All right, so not a bad uh, matchup. And I love the fact that Jigner is using champions that a lot of people sleep on. You know, Gwenpool. People are like, oh, yeah, she was good back in the day. No, she's still good. She's still worthy uh, of ranking up, you know. And uh, here he is. He baited out the special two. That's one of the uh, worries with fighting Hyperion. But I believe he's boosted. Anytime you go up against a Hyperion and its flow, and you know they're going to be getting a lot of power, you, you got you to gotta pop in uh, an invulnerability boost. Okay? So I'm pretty sure... Uh, he's done that uh, for this fight here. And let's look at this. Now that he's low health, he's going to fire that special off. He ain't going to let you get him like that. All right, yep, he's got invulnerability. That's not Gwenpool's ability. That's one of the boosts. So he took no damage. Okay, yep, there's the indestructible. Uh, so he could do that three more times as long as he didn't get hit. But he didn't need to. Hyperion is down. All right, so we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. This war, our first war of the season. And we are getting off to a great start. So my alliance for this season is pushing a little bit. We want to be in platinum. Platinum 3, platinum 4. Uh, but we want to be back in platinum. And so I am placing without suicides, which means 80 units with my current build uh, go into every single war. Uh, in switching the suicides and I am not going to run without suicides because as someone who does not pay to progress I need to generate my resources from within the game and that means a lot of arena and without suicides I would not be getting as many resources as I currently do all right but I am happy to see that we've won this first war so we're off to a great start Hopefully it will continue and we will be able to place in platinum. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.